First, here tonight at 10, the Trotwood mayor is asking area landlords there to report available units to city officials. She's hoping to help people displaced by the tornado stay in Trotwood. Two News reporter Kristen Escout live in Trotwood after visiting one of the apartment complexes taking in residents. And Brooke and Mark, this is Kensington Square, where officials tell me they've had roughly 10 families move in since the tornadoes and nearly as many more scheduled to move in. The Trotwood mayor tells me she's heard of housing available throughout the city. It affected us, you know, as far as, you know, accommodation at home, but mentally uh, it was very... It was very intense. Thaddeus McCants and his family were able to salvage some of their things after the Memorial Day tornadoes, but they were forced to leave their apartment at Woodland Hills, and they've spent the past few weeks staying with their pastor and a friend. Now they're considering moving into the Kensington Square apartments to stay in Trotwood. Hopefully this will be it, uh, because it is by my, uh, my son's school. and. Uh, yeah, hopefully this is it. Kensington Square management tells me deposits are being waived for those displaced by the tornadoes. Trotwood Mayor Mary McDonald says she wants displaced residents to know there is housing available at the market rate in Trotwood. Trotwood has worked so hard at building a family, and we've done this over a period of time, and everybody feels like there's a place for them in the city of Trotwood. Apartment complexes in the city, like Kensington Square, remain busy as workers get units ready for those starting a new chapter. We was giving out food and water and things like that and trying to help as much as we could around here. I'm hoping to see a better, better outcome for our community. Uh, a better unity, which has already been established, but also to continue to move forward and to grow. And the Trotwood mayor tells me officials are still working to assess how much money in tax revenue the city has already lost from the Memorial Day tornadoes. Now, if you work for or own a housing complex with available units in Trotwood, you're asked to give the city a call. And we've got more information on that on our website, WDTN.com, under As Seen on 2 News. We're live tonight in Trotwood. Kristen Escow, 2 News, working for you.